What's up, friends? Jill and Just Jay here. No kids today. Woohoo! It's going to be like 4 o'clock before we know it. They're going to be home. Anyways, uh, I'm making some lunch. I'm making a low carb lunch for my balanced carb diet. What does that mean? If anybody tells you to strip out all the carbs out of your diet, they're crazy. Run. Don't listen. I am an athlete. I don't know about you. I like to work out. I like for my body to be muscular and strong and healthy. And in order to do that, I need my carbs. But I like to spend my carbs wisely. So sometimes I have some low carb meals that I really love. I love to bulk up those meals, have way more veggies, have some protein that's going to keep me full. And so I'm going to tell you about the recipe I'm making today. It's super simple. It's really easy. And it's going to last for a few days, right? Because who has time to be cooking every day? Bunch of stuff. I don't. So what I have here is I just sauteed up a pound of ground turkey. This was really good ground turkey. I got it yesterday at Shady Brook Farms, 93% lean. And then I chopped up a piece of ginger because our Misfits Market people sent us lots of ginger. Uh, I chopped up some ginger and just sauteed that in there too. And then I added, because I didn't have any fresh garlic on hand, I also added some garlic powder, okay? So that was step one. While that was all, you know, mixing up and getting all sauteed, which there is not even really any oil in there, any uh, fat right? It's perfect. I chopped up three things. I chopped up a very small, and all of my stuff comes in my market box weekly, um, a small red cabbage or purple cabbage, a small green cabbage, and a half of a large onion. And I'm just going to take all those things and dump them right in with that ground turkey. Like super simple meal. This does not take a lot of time these things are not going to take a lot of time to saute up. Now, sometimes I'm missing ingredients and I just make do. I usually love to throw in sesame oil, but I didn't have any left. Put it on the shopping list, right? So I'm going to just throw all this stuff in and let it saute up and soften. But I don't want it like so crazy cooked that it's like super limp. I really, excuse me. I really like it, you know, firm and still crisp um, and tasting very fresh. So that's just me. But as it gets cooler out, I do like to cook more of my vegetables because that's what our bodies are needing, right? We don't need a ton of like salads in the winter. We need more warmed up vegetables to keep our bodies warm, right? That's what our body wants. In the summer, we want salads. And in the winter, we want nice warmed up vegetables, soups, stews, and stuff like this. So I'm just gonna move that around. I have one more ingredient that I keep super, super simple, and that is just shredded carrots. I'm not wasting my time shredding carrots. Heck no. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a handful of those in there too. Maybe two handfuls. I'm like watering the stove with my carrots too. And I am going to let that start to cook up. I'm going to move the meat from the bottom. And of course, you could do this without the meat too. You could do this. You could fold in some, uh, some eggs, some scrambled eggs. You could do it without any meat and just keep it a pure veggie dish. You could also um, do this and then serve like a piece of salmon over it. That's a really good one, right? Or serve this on the side of something. So we're just going to get this all mixed together and then I'm going to tell you about some of the other seasonings that I'm going to throw in here. Okay, so again, it depends on what you have <laughs> and I didn't really plan so I'm just going to tell you a bunch of different ingredients that I have. Mirin, it's like a sweetened sake, right? I don't think it's like super alcoholy though. It's a little bit sweet. It tastes or smells a little bit like a wine. I am making a, what do I even call this? Um, it's kind of like an egg roll filling is what I would say. Okay. So I just put a little bit of that. I'm not much of a measurer <laughs> unless we're baking. Um, something for the little bit of saltiness. So, oh, and the other thing that you could use too, if you don't want to use or don't have mirin is rice wine vinegar. 
Again, that's another like sweeter. I like to balance out the flavors. And so next is the salty, and we have two options here. We've got low sodium soy sauce, or we have Bragg's liquid aminos, which is like a soy sauce substitute. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. And again, you can always add, you can't really take away. So I suggest phasing in your sauces and seasonings and then sprinkle a little on the stove. <laughs> okay, and then as I said too, I love to put sesame oil in this. It's a super like kind of woody flavor, but I ran out. So I'm not gonna actually throw any oil in it. It doesn't need it, but it gives it a great flavor. But what I do have is sesame seeds, all right? I already threw my ginger in when I was cooking the ground turkey. You could use ground beef, you could use ground pork, you could use shrimp, whatever you want or nothing. But I have sesame seeds and I don't have the white ones. I have the black ones. I think they taste the same. Stop. But I like the drama of the black, obviously, right? So, hey, they're getting all growly with each other. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of the sesame seeds in here. My lord. All right. So if you can think of anything else that you would want to throw in here, maybe some slip. Hey, seriously. If it's not the kids, it's the dogs. Um, some slivered almonds might be nice to throw in there. If you have other ideas of what you would throw in too, you let me know. But this just gave all the veggies an opportunity to soften, uh, to brighten, right? And to mix in with the meat and to get that sauce and seasoning all together. Oh my goodness, would you stop it? You're ruining my video. All right, let's turn this off. Okay, so do you see how much this is? This is a ton. So I have plenty that I can share with my husband or that I can have this for lunches, dinners. I mean, breakfast if you want to for a few days. It didn't take me more than however much time you were watching me. And that's it. So I'm going to eat because this smells really good. And my dogs to quiet down. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you want to chat about nutrition, if you're struggling with nutrition, um, eat your carbs or else you're going to want to eat the house, right? Uh, and when I say carbs, I'm not saying like eat a bunch of chocolate chip cookies, but I have a way to eat healthy chocolate chip cookie dough. So find substitutes that will work for you that you won't overindulge in. If you can like seriously eat one chocolate chip cookie in a day and not eat 10, then fine, eat that one. Uh, fruit are great carbs. They've got lots of nutrients in them. Um, sweet potatoes, quinoa, all that stuff. Oatmeal, it's all good for you and it will keep you energized. It'll keep you full and then you can eat plenty of your low carb meals too. All right, let me know if you like this video. Let me know what else you need and uh, schedule a time with me if you wanna chat nutrition or fitness. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye guys.